Hello guys, welcome back to Constrom GIS. So today we are going to look at uh, how to export uh, attribute table of shapefile features to an Excel file. So you can see in my canvas, I've opened uh, a school uh, shapefile. It contains uh, schools in Kenya. So if you open the attribute table, um, it's, it has around uh, 37,900 records. So our task today is to export these features uh, to an Excel file. Uh, maybe that's the kind of format you need it uh, in. So I'm just going to expand these. And you can see these are the schools that are in Kenya that I'm interested in exporting to an Excel file. So it's a pretty simple step. And uh, what you'll do, within this attribute table, you can see this icon up here. It's called the table options. Just click on it and you'll see an option for export. Uh, once you click the export uh, option, we need to select the format. By default, you can see it has come as DBF. And this is what we need. This is a database file. And databases contain uh, the table. So if it, it, it's not by default this, you can always change the save as, uh, save as type option and select the dbase table uh, you can see you have other options uh, within this drop down uh, uh, drop down so for us since we're interested in the uh, excel sheet we select the dbase and i'll change the default i can just leave it as a uh, uh, to go to downloads and i'm going to rename it to schools maybe uh, i'll save this and i click uh, okay so once it's done, it's going to save this. So before we check it, you can just see how it looks uh, on the map. It should be just an attribute table. So under the table of contents, you can turn off the schools. And you can see I have just a, uh, just a table. I cannot open these attributes, but this is what we just, uh, just did. So let's go to the downloads and see this file. Uh, so I'll just expand this. Another download, you can see these are the files that uh, we, we just downloaded and this is the file that you need. So what you'll do, we just open Excel. And once Excel opens, just open a blank one. So I'm just going to load the DBase. Uh, so I'll go to File. Uh, just click Open. I'll browse it to the where we saved it, which was downloads, and I'll enable all files. I'll add the DBF, the file that has a dot DBF extension. Click open, and uh, it's going to open. So you can see it has exported the attribute uh, information of the shape file. And you can see all the columns are actually present, and they are quite quite spaced, but that's not uh, an issue. So you can see we have successfully uh, transferred our attribute information to an Excel. So the last thing we do, we save these uh, as a uh, with a dot .xlx extension that suits uh, Excel. So I'm just going to save us, and I'll save to downloads again. I'll save it at schools with dot .xlsx extension. So if you need a CSV or another format. You can change it at this point so i'll just save this and uh that's it guys you'll have exported your data to excel thank you guys uh like the video subscribe to our channel and supporters and uh see you next time bye